complete my sentence, you'll hear it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, um, so when, when he made the announcements in terms of the prorogation, he made sure that he made the announcement after there was a release of all the documents and not before. And I don't think that that would be an action of a government that in any way was trying to hide anything. And I think with that, Mr. Easter, while I didn't go through another 10 or 12 examples of the exact, you know, of the ways that we didn't uh, redact things or we only redacted things that were absolutely necessary, I think I've made my point uh, in terms of going through the ESDC um, uh, arguments. And I think I'll leave it at, the, at that. Thank you. You're muted. You're muted, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we will now turn to uh, uh, Mr. Julian, and then hopefully we can have an, a, a vote on the sub amendment. Mr. Julian, floor is yours. Sub amendment, huh? we're on. Thank, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I meant no disrespect. You saw me a few minutes uh, earlier eating popcorn as I watched the brilliant filibuster. And I, I will compliment Mr. Fraser, Mr. Frasiskatos, uh, Ms. Jarowitz uh, for their filibuster. Uh, as you know, Mr. Chair, I, I hold the record for filibusters in the House of Commons at uh, uh, around the uh, Harper Softwood Lumber sellout, 16 hours uh, by myself. And I always love a good filibuster. However, a filibuster actually has to reinforce your point. And so if I'd spent 16 hours uh, before the Natural Resources Committee actually arguing for the softwood lumber sellout that Mr. Harper imposed on us, I, I wouldn't have had much credibility. And here's the problem. Point of we order. Have had uh, point of order, Mr. Gerritsen. Um, Mr. Uh, Julian is speaking to filibustering. He's not speaking to the amendment to the amendment. Yep. He really needs to speak to the amendment to the amendment, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, uh, I uh, will give him a little leeway as others have had leeway on his- uh, 20 getting, seconds worth, get, right? 20 getting, seconds worth of getting leeway? Rolling on his rolling uh, on his points uh, relevant. Mr. Go Julian, I'm, I apologize if I interrupted your video clip. Maybe you want to start from the beginning again so you can capture the uh, whole That's thing. not a point order. Uh, Mr. Julian, uh, go ahead. You were you were winding up on your filibuster at uh, on the Harper government. My, my point is simply this, Mr. Chair. What we have had from the last three Liberal members is a reinforcement of why we should be voting against the sub-amendment and voting through this motion. Uh, the initial argument has been all along that the documents weren't provided and how could committee members actually make a decision because uh, the information wasn't available. And as uh, by uh, her own admission, uh, Ms. Zerowitz has a dozen, another dozen pages of carefully prepared text that took days to prepare. Same with Mr. Fragascados, same with Mr. Fraser. This is meticulous. We have many Liberal Party operatives working overtime to actually produce all of this material to reinforce the sub-amendment. The reality is uh, the argument that Liberal point members of, of this committee of have been, point of information. Have been uh, using. Uh, hold it, uh, Mr. Julian, mm -hmm. uh, point of order from uh, Mr. Z Ms. Zerowitz. Well, okay. <laughs> well, it was more that uh, Mr. Julian had alluded to the fact that we already had the documents. The documents I was referring to was actually um, documents that were released by the government House Leader's Office, and it was given to all members. So it okay. is not the documents that he was referring to. Thank you. All right, Mr. Julian. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The, my point is very simple. They have meticulously prepared presentations on the sub-amendment that reinforce the point that we've been making all along. Committee members have had access to the documents. We need the ability now to move forward. It's been more than 180 hours uh, with breaks and with the uh, suspensions, as you know, Mr. Chair. Uh, but really, uh, the, the, the reality is the people who are watching us know full well the Liberals have had access, have provided very, very well-researched uh, and fulsome arguments that have been prepared days in advance, which means uh, their fundamental argument that the committee isn't aware of the documents that have been distributed now for months uh, falls through. And so those filibuster points have undermined the principal Liberal position. Let's get on with it and let's vote on the sub-amendment on the amendment and on the motion. I agree, we should vote on the sub-amendment. Okay, we're ready for the uh, vote. I uh, gather on the uh, sub-amendment. I will turn to uh, 
uh, you, uh, Madam Clerk, and we will have a uh, a voice vote on the uh, uh, sub amendment is the best way to go. Uh, uh, Madam Clerk, floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. Um, first of all, I'm just uh, I just want to verify the presence of members. So the list that I have here for uh, members of the committee present and allowed to vote are as follows: Mr. Fraser, Ms. Jerowicz, Mr. Fregiskatos. Mr. Gersten, Madame Koutrakis, Mr. Poliev, Mr. Falk, Ms. Jensen, Ms. Vecchio, Mr. S Monsieur Saint Marie, Peter Julian. Is that correct? Did Did you miss Mr. Steinley? Um, I believe I'm here on behalf of Mr. Poliev. I believe Mr. Poliev is not here. Uh, the documentation point of order should have been submitted to the clerk if there's a sub it was going on here. Thanks. Yeah. Um, well, the clerk doesn't seem to know uh, that because me, she's Mr. not Garrickin? under the impression excuse that you're me, supposed Mr. to be Garrickin? here. I have yeah. actually been on all of those emails. So just to let you know, uh, it was indicated by the yeah. clerk about Mr. Steinle, uh supposed to go in for Mr. Polyev and for myself for Pat Kelly. So thank you, Mr. Garrett. The clerk doesn't know that. Mr. Garrett. The clerk doesn't know that. Just hold on. Just hold on. Ms. Vecchio, you did interrupt me when I was speaking. We'll ask the 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 clerk, uh, I assume, uh, uh, Madam Clerk, you have the documentation for sorry, Ms. Vecchio and Ms. One. Stanley. Yes, uh, sorry, I just wanted to verify because um, I see uh, Mr. Priyav has logged in, so I just wanted to double check for the status, okay. but I did okay. receive the that, email. That's so, good. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank you. So the question is good on try. the amendment of uh, Mr. Gerritstein. Mr. Gerritson. Gerritson, sorry. All those in favor? Um, Mr. Sorry. Mr. Fraser. In favor. Ms. Jerowicz. Yes. Mr. Fregisketos. Yes. Mr. Gerritsen. Yes. Ms. Kutrakis. Yes. Mr. Stanley. No. Mr. Falk. No. Ms. Jensen. No. Ms. Vecchio. No. Monsieur Saint Marie. No. Mr. Julian. No. Against. Mr. Chair, Contra. that's five yeas, six nays. Okay, the uh, sub amendment uh, is uh, lost. Uh, then we will turn to. These people are crazy. This is going to be a disaster. 